everyone, I'm Paige and I've just finished a bachelor's degree in natural sciences at the University of Cambridge. Today I'm going to be answering the question that everyone and their dog has been asking me recently. What am I going to do next? I have been considering two possible options. Option one is to stay on for a master's in astrophysics at Cambridge. My course, Natural Sciences, gives us the option to stay on for a fourth year. I would stay at Jesus College, Cambridge and study more astrophysics at the Institute of Astronomy. It would lead to an MSci and I'd be doing it with the view to continue to a PhD afterwards and then pursue a career in academia and cutting edge research. I decided long ago that the masters would only be worth it if I was going to stay in academia and stay in astrophysics just because it is really specialised. Option two is to start a corporate job and study for a professional qualification. I have been offered a graduate position at the company I interned at last summer. I'd be working in insurance consulting at a global advisory company and studying for professional exams alongside this to become a qualified actuary. The job of an actuary is to use maths to analyse risk and then communicate their findings to non-specialists. They're two great options and I have been struggling choosing between them. I know I'm in a very lucky position to have the choice and it's a nice dilemma to have. I'm not exaggerating when I say it could have gone either way. Every time I told my parents that I had definitely decided on the actuarial job or I had definitely decided on the master's course, they'd roll their eyes because they knew full well I would change my mind a few days later. I am aware that it is always possible to change track a few years down the line and if I end up hating what I'm doing I'm not bound to it forever but it would be nice to get it right first time, you know? Me being me, just getting completely overwhelmed by the decision, I decided to make a pros and cons list for each option. The list literally covered all aspects. It even covered the important stuff like, I get to dress up like a businesswoman with a briefcase as a pro for the actuarial job. I've even been listening to audiobooks to help guide my decision and that actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video. This video has been very kindly sponsored by the app Blinkist. Blinkist gives you the key takeaways, the need to know information from over 3,000 non-fiction books by condensing them down into short blinks which are about 15 minutes long and you can read or listen to them. You can use Blinkist on your phone, on a tablet, tablet, on a web browser. In my opinion, Blinkist is great because it's not a big time commitment. I can learn something new, find some new angle to view the world from, all while eating my breakfast in just 15 minutes. Most recently, I listened to Everything is F***ed, a book about hope by Mark Manson, and also Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. And this second one in particular I enjoyed because it delved into how our minds work and how we make decisions. And I've obviously had a very big decision to make right now, so I was very eager to understand what was going on in my brain. I also spotted several books on there by Carlo Rovelli including these, which are some of my all-time favourite books. Right now, Blinkist has a special offer for you guys. Go to Blinkist.com slash page Y to get a free seven-day trial and also get 25% off a Blinkist premium membership and up to 65% off full-length audiobooks, which are yours to keep forever. I'll put the link in the description box, so go click it if you're interested. And now let's continue to discuss this big decision. After much thought, trying to figure out what's important to me in life and where I want to be, what I want from my career, I have come to a decision. I feel like I need a drum roll. Can I have a drum roll please? I have decided 
to start the actuarial job in September. I'm going to explain a few key reasons why I made this decision. Firstly, astrophysics is really competitive and there are actually very few permanent research posts. If you get offered a postdoc position, you have to travel where the job is. There aren't a lot of jobs going, there's no job security. And some people find themselves 10 years in and then having to change career path because they cannot find a permanent post. Secondly, the actuarial job pays well. With the future job market looking tough, it seems like a good idea to take a job while I can. The company have stayed committed to the offer they gave me even after the pandemic hit. And to be honest, I just don't want to risk being unemployed next year. Thirdly, the work that I'll be doing involves lots of maths and problem solving and communicating with colleagues and clients and I feel like it utilises all of my skill set. It's not brainless work, hopefully I won't find it boring, and I've gained lots of transferable skills from my degree which I will be able to use in the job. It is very common, by the way, for people from a science background to go into the actuarial profession. Fourthly, it's a really friendly office where I'm going to be working. I did my internship there last year, so I've already met a lot of people at the company and there's lots of young people. There's a really nice relaxed vibe. Hopefully I'll be able to have a good social life as well. And lastly, as I've already mentioned, I still get to study while doing this job. On average, I'll be taking one study day per week and studying on some weekends and evenings. So I'll be in the office four days a week and at home studying one day per week. The study package at the company I'm joining is really good. And yeah, weirdly, I don't want to give up exams and education just yet. So I'm pleased to still be learning and getting a textbook out. Of course, I do find astrophysics far more interesting than insurance. I don't think I could fool any of you on that one, but I need to look at what is the more viable career option. I love Cambridge and the student lifestyle so much and I would love to stay for another year, but I just can't justify it. The social aspect and enjoyment of the course are just not strong enough reasons. I can't risk turning down a job offer this year and then finding next year that I can't get anything because the economy's crashed. A number of my friends and the majority of my course mates have actually opted to stay at Cambridge for another year and do the master's course. I won't deny that I'm very jealous. <laughs> I'm gutted to be leaving Cambridge. I wish it was me going back, but deep down I know it would be the wrong decision if I went back. I can't cling on to uni forever and I think I just need to push myself out my comfort zone. And you bet I'm going to be back to visit Cambridge lots anyway. I hope my friends are prepared for me to turn up multiple weekends on the trot. I will be continuing to make YouTube videos. I might be leaving university, but that doesn't mean that my channel has to end. I am going to be documenting my attempts to navigate graduate life. The professional exams for the actuarial qualification are known to be tough, so I am going to be studying quite hard, so you can still come here for study motivation. I'll be sharing how I get on in my new job and yeah I'm unexcited it's a new chapter the job starts this September I'm sure a lot of you are going to have questions about actuaries and the job what is insurance consulting what are these exams you're doing what are you studying I hear all those questions I know they're there and I will be doing a Q&A answering them all very soon but yeah that's it from me today it feels good to finally share with you guys what I'm doing next. If anyone else has recently graduated or is leaving university soon, comment down below and let me know what you're getting up to next. Would be really interested to know. I know lots of people find leaving university daunting, but hopefully lots of us can take on this challenge together. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me, hit the notification bell, then you get sent a notification whenever I upload. Follow my Instagram as well, which is at underscore page underscore Y. Links all in the description. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.